So I'd like to talk about this low voltage installation I've done in a kitchen supply showroom. Uh, it came out really nice, very happy with the results. So we'll just start with the network cabinet. This is a Samson network cabinet. I really like these cabinets that they have. Uh, they're not too deep. Typically I find, you know, with a lot of the cabinets, they're just, just too deep, too big and too deep. So this one just fits the bill. It's perfect, it's perfect size. Um, I will leave links in the description to all the hardware that I have used in this installation. So before I talk about what's in the cabinet, uh, we'll just talk about the wiring. This whole back wall, there's two two inch conduits running the height of the wall uh, to make installation easier, uh, to add more wires later. I really like using conduit, um, it's a great tool. So just come up this ladder here and I'll show you where I spent a lot of my time running wires. Uh, here's the conduit. I actually ended up having to cut one of them because I uh, was running out of space in one of the conduits, so I needed to add more wire, so I cut that one. Um, but you can see I've used J hooks throughout the whole installation. All these wires run to the back offices, so having the J hooks made the installation very neat and tidy. I really like using those. Um, I just need a cable tie. Um, you know, tidy up the wires a little bit and run some cable ties and just cinch it up a little bit. But that's that. And then this conduit runs over here and this actually runs, <coughs> excuse me, um, to this bar island that they created here. So if I ever need to add more wires to the island, I can just run it to the conduit. Come back down the ladder here. My notebook for the job. Uh, I like to create a notebook for each job to have notes in, um, to, you know, to keep track um, and keep organized everything here. I'm real handy to have because you know over time you tend to forget stuff. So I always write things down and have a separate book for each job. So let's talk about the cabinet here. Um, Samsung plexiglass door that I ordered separately for the cabinet. Really nice. Um, you can see the wiring here coming through the conduit. Everything's labeled, organized, cable tied nicely. Now we'll just stop at the top, start at the top here. So I keep a drawer. I got a drawer here for all uh, miscellaneous things I can keep in here uh, to keep organized. Real handy to have that. What I've done with the switches is I've, you know, I could have used one switch for the whole um, for the whole job you don't need a separate switch for the phone system but as a matter of keeping the wires more organized and tidy and not having to use a uh, managed switch I just split the switches up in two even though they're on the same network um, so one's internet here and one's phone and uh, negular so negular switches power over ethernet uh, because the phone system is actually uh, power over ethernet powered uh, handsets, Polycom handsets, so, yep, and then I've got a, uh, there's four TVs in this installation, and the customer wanted to be able to display uh, from one central location from his laptop, for example, um, to, to display whatever he wants on the TVs, so this is a um, HDMI over uh, Ethernet trip light uh, unit. So I have this cable running to the main office, to a keystone jack um, at his desk, so he can just plug in his laptop, signal comes in here and splits it off uh, to each location where there's another receiver that plugs into the TV. So um, the TVs have not been installed yet, so I'm waiting to finish this, but it's all ready, wired up and ready to go. We have a triple I PDU, very handy for uh, plugging all the devices in. I don't have a UPS on this installation. Uh, I might do that later. I mean, you should have a UPS for your installs. 
um, but trying to keep costs down at the moment. I may uh, have the customer or tell the customer he should get one later, uh, but for now I don't have one. Um, this is an audio engine Bluetooth device for this Yamaha amplifier. This Yamaha amplifier was actually in another installation uh, in a restaurant. Great amplifier. It's a 70 volt two zone amplifier. And the Comcast business router that was just installed today. Thank you Comcast for listening and having a rack mounted solution for the router. Man, this just makes a huge difference. I've been asking this for this for a long time from Comcast and they have finally have it. I guess um, within the past year the tech said they've been using these um, modems. It's really nice. So I'm glad um, there's a rack mounted solution for that. This is kind of a new one to me. They're, um, again, this is something they've been doing over the past year. Um, I haven't got it installed yet. Uh, I may or may not use it, but uh, in case the modem goes down, this will actually deliver uh, internet to you through cellular service. So it's got some kind of uh, amplifier or dish or whatever um, that you mount. And then if the modem goes down, this will actually deliver uh, your information over cellular service, just like your cell phone. So I'll probably, I'll probably get this hooked up later. I'm not gonna do it today, but I'll get that installed. And that's pretty much it for the rack. Pretty simple setup. Um, got some extra wires in the back here that I haven't yet uh, terminated. Those are for a room that's unoccupied and a couple locations that they may expand to later. So, that about does it for the rack. Just close this. Nice, clean, tidy setup. Um, and then the audio system. I've got a DCP controller over here. Uh, it's only on one zone currently. We may add more speakers to the system later. Currently, there's only four here. So I've got some Yamaha speakers here on each corner, four in total of this uh, soffit and then today we were setting up the polycom phones i uh, still working on getting those uh, set up power over ethernet and there's the jacks and this island actually has a, a conduit throughout the whole island so i've got you know terminated several places here all along here and uh, we ran conduit here so if I, ever, if I ever have to add more wires again uh, there's underground conduit that comes up to the top of this and goes all the way across down to the network cabinet and not much else uh, I've got some wireless access points installed one in the office and I got one up here for customers that I've configured uh, power over Ethernet and Meg gear uh, access points yeah, I think that's about does it for this uh, installation. Um, oh, uh, the customer is also going to have uh, later. I've left a lot of some space in the rack for a high vision, uh, probably like 16 channel camera system. So it's probably going to go right here later. Um, and I've got the conduit there, so I can just run the wires into the wall. Let me just show you actually the old, the uh, quote unquote IT room. Uh, you can just see it's just sort of haphazard equipment everywhere that's accumulated over the years. Uh, the old phone system, patch panels, switches, you know, wiring just everywhere. Um, this is basically all the stuff's obsolete now. Um, yeah, so it's all, all this stuff is basically all new hardware and now it's in a network cabinet, nice and tight and neat and organized. Uh, a lot better. And I think that about does it. I think I've covered everything. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thank you.